Welcome to my video. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you, and if you are returning, I'd like to say welcome back. I am Nikki B. Have we met? It's nice to meet you. I'm here today with a Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of stuff to share with you, so let's jump right in. We're going to start off today with my pick of the week. I actually have two. Uh, one is an item that I've been searching for, and it is the Freeman Beauty Infusion Hydrating Mask. Um, I wanted to get this mask because it was a full-size mask, and I am familiar with the Freeman Beauty products, and this says it's made with Manuka honey and collagen, instantly boosts moisture, restores smoothness, and improves elasticity. This serum is an infused facial mask, and it is dermatology tested. So again, it's the Freeman Hydrating Cream Mask. And I am excited to use this. It says professional size. Um, let me see if it has a smell to it. Is it even open? It might not even be open. Let me see. Nope. It's coming off. Okay, it's not one that screws off. Oh yeah, it's coming out of there. Let's see. So it's white. That's what it looks like. Let's just put a little on my hand. I wonder if this is the kind that dries. I like the peel-off kind. I don't think it's a peel-off mask. It smells nice. It smells like a beauty product. But this is my pick of the week. And there was another one that I thought I had here. It was the in shower mask. Did I already haul that one? I don't think I did. Okay, well, if I come across it, then I'll come across it and share it with you. So let's keep it moving. The other item that I found were these two e.l.f. lipsticks. And one is called Sociable. And the other is called Flirtatious. This is Flirtatious. And this is Sociable. I want to get them a little close so you can see that they are in the shades of pink. This is a deeper pink and this is more of a lighter pink. Um, perhaps you would like me to swatch them since they're for me. Ooh, let's do it real quick. So this is flirtatious. How do they do that here? Try to look like a professional. Now it looks like a little mat, a little matty. I don't like them matty so much. I like them shiny. So let's look at the sociable and see how that one compares to flirtatious. This one's actually, well, it's, I guess it's pink. It kind of looks red too. Ooh, I think I like this one better. And that's more my style. So there you go. So sociable is this one. <laughs> backwards. This is sociable and then here's flirtatious. Okay, so let me know which one you like the best and which one you think will look the best on my skin tone. I think uh, sociable, the darker one here. Flirtatious I think is a little too light. Let's move on. Next we have <clears throat> another beauty product. This is hard candy. Lip Pro Bear It All Lip and Cheek Lip and Cheek Stick. And this says no any special instructions here? No, no special instructions. And at the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, it says sweet as honey. So I guess that's that is the name of this one. Sweet as honey. So let me show it to you first. So it's <coughs> <clears throat> it's a lip and cheek stick. And here's the color. Kind of looks like a nude color. I don't know how this... I don't normally do nudes. So let's see how this looks up against my skin real quick. Alright, here's the big old thick stick here. Now on camera, it's a lot more of a bronze color 
in person, but when I put it on camera, it might be because of the lighting. It doesn't look as dark on camera as it does in person. So let's see what it looks like on my own. Ooh, that's a big swatch. I don't know, this looks like a nude kind of a color to me. I'm not sure if I would wanna put this on my cheeks or my lips for that matter. So nonetheless, the Hard Candy Bear It All Stick, so I got that. <clears throat> Next I have these aluminum hook crochet hooks. Aluminum crochet hooks. There's two sizes, 4.5 and 5.5. 5.5 is larger, 4.5 is smaller. You can see the tip of it is where we're getting the size differences. And I don't know in the world of crochet what that translates to. Like, my common sense tells me that the bigger needle would be used for thicker thread, I'm guessing. But I don't know. I was always wanting to learn how to crochet, and I still do. So that's why I got those, because I do have a, a gift that was given to me years ago, and it had a book on how to crochet and it also included some fabric. So now I have a couple of needles to add to that. I was in the stationary area with all the school supplies and I came across these uh, mechanical pencils with the built-in sharpener. You see the built-in sharpener here at the top? Let me give you an angle. I thought that was pretty cool and it's refillable and these are all colored pencils and you see here at the bottom the different color inks to match the pencils. So I'd never seen that before. And then they also had uh, the same thing in primary colors. So I got the pastels and the primaries. And they all are color matching the color of the pencil. So that was something new to try out. I found in the craft section iridescent beads. And here they are in a light blue. You get 55 pieces here, and then here is a pink, a very pastel pink. You get 80 pieces. Oh, these must be smaller, that's why. You get 80 pieces in pink because they're smaller, and then you get 50 pe 55 pieces in blue, and then they have one more in white, and you get 110 here because they are the smallest of the group. So 110 in white. Hold on. Use 110 in white and then 80 in pink. I'm trying to show you the size differences. And then 55 in blue. So you got small, medium, and large. And those were new items that I saw in the craft section. Also in the back to school supply section, I found these uh, clip push pins. So normally you see these in a magnetic clip, but these, if you see the pin in there, can, I, can you see that? Yeah, you can see the pin where it sticks on like a, in like a bulletin board or even on the wall. So you could have, uh, stick it on the wall somewhere and change your, uh, that lipstick is getting over everything. Hold on, I need to take this off. Okay, I'm back. I had to wipe that off because I got it all over my calendar here on my desk. And on my desk, actually. Take that off. Okay, so I think we left off with the stick push pins, or the, what do they call them? Clip push pins, where you can clip it and then push it into, oh, I was going to say on these that you could put these on a wall and like if you have a small child and they have school pictures every year, you can have it in the wall as a permanent stick in there and then you can interchange the picture or not just the school picture, but any kind of picture you take and it makes it easy because it's already stuck in the wall. I'm sure there's a lot of other uses people can come up with for those, but I thought they would be good to come uh, to use because they will come in handy for something. I found Reach Toothbrushes. Um, these come with three caps, and these are a pretty big toothbrush. Not a small little rinky-dink at the top. 
and they come in orange and purple as well as green and blue two per pack and they are in soft bristles very good deal to have never hurts to have a toothbrush on hand especially since they recommend you changing them every three months if you use that type of toothbrush um, I have a sonic not a sonic I have an electric toothbrush um, but you never know when you're traveling or you know going overnight somewhere you don't want to take that one it's good to have those on hand I found some Westcott scissors that I've been looking for for years now to put it in perspective these are the ones that I normally could find but they're smaller you see how much smaller the the blades are than this one these are the large size and I never got to the store in time to get this size I always ended up getting this one which is more I mean it's still for an adult hand it's not like a kitty size but it definitely does not have the same length of a blade and so I was really happy to find these so I got a pink one and a green one these were the two colors that I found and this is a good brand these scissors work very well um, I use them in my craft room and for other things around the house but I definitely wanted to pick up the large size, so I was happy to find those. Okay, I also found in the beauty aisle um, some more Freeman masks, and these are a little smaller. This is the anti-stress sea salt mud face mask. This is what people were finding earlier. And I'm wondering, is this the one that I'm looking for in the larger size? They also had this de or detoxifying charcoal mud face mask as well so they had these two and let's see real quick um, if these also are just kind of I think that one was that one there oh there ooh, 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 ooh. is this the charcoal one yeah that was coming out kind of dark okay let me that wasn't a good idea to do let's put that there <laughs> um, I don't know it felt like nothing was coming and then it almost wanted to just gush out of there I was trying to show you what it looked like okay it is black can you see that so I think it might have just had some uh, just like a little liquid that collected at the top so this is the, where's my magnifying glass? This is the detoxifying charcoal mud face mask. Um, this one says apply mask to face and neck, avoiding uh, contact with eyes, leave on seven to 10 minutes or until dry, rinse with warm water and use this twice a week or often or as often as needed. So again, it's a detoxifying charcoal mud face mask. And then the anti-stress sea salt mud face mask. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so this one, it says to do the same thing. <laughs> Apply mask to face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes. Leave on 10 to 15 minutes for this one or until dry, rinse with warm water, use twice a week, or as often as needed. So this one is blue. Let me be careful here. Okay. So that one's blue. Okay, close up there. All right, let's see what that feels like. Now when you rub it on, they both just kind of disappear. Um, on your hand. Well, you can kind of see it's a little dry area, a little spot right there where you can see that it, ha ooh, that it has clay in it. So again, that was the anti-stress sea salt mud face mask. So I got that. I'm looking forward to trying. I like doing masks. They help to close the pores in your face. And um, so hopefully the detoxifying will be uh, something good to use and will do exactly what it says and detoxify my skin um, again I, I use the peel off ones now but I want to add those to my repertoire now previously I had uh, hauled some of these squinchy uh, extra thick hair elastics 
not extra thick, thick. I did one for fine hair and I did one for thick hair. And then I found these for extra thick hair and there's four of these included and they're nice and thick and big. So these would be good to use if you're doing a puff, if you're a natural girl, they're very, very strong. But they'll, uh, but they have enough um, elasticity in them that you could really use it for a puff. And they don't have any wires on them. So of course, if you're a natural hair girl, you you definitely want the kind that don't have the little wire pieces on it. Moving right along, they have their calendars out. So I got one for each, I have to buy four every year, one for each bathroom, one for my kitchen, and one for my office that I keep right here to the left of me. So these two I got for the bathroom, and it says a new day, an inspirational calendar 2021. It's wrapped in plastic, so it has a little glare to it, and it just has a bunch of different sayings. You can see those. pause the video and read it. So I got two of these, like I said, one for each bathroom. And then this one, which one did I get this one for? Oh, I got this one for my office. And it has all these floral designs. Also little uh, inspirational sayings on it. And then the fourth one that I got for my kitchen is this one, which I wasn't excited about but my kitchen is kind of like a farm theme which I don't know if you guys know but I said in the last one that's not really my style that's just what came with the house so it matches my kitchen you know the chickens and the roosters and the pigs so this is what the farm one looks like so I went ahead and got the one that matched the theme of my kitchen which again is farm farmhouse style and then I got one for my desk I always get one of these every year as well. This is the one that I chose. Um, they had four different designs, and this is the one that I chose this year. Sometimes I'll just go with the plain black one, and other times I'll get a more colorful one like that to kind of, you know, be a little bit more cheery inside um, my office. So next, let's get these out so we can keep this moving. I found some band-aids. I'd seen these before, Purad band-aids. You get 10 of these large band-aids in a box, and this is how big it is. Oops, not this way. So here's my hand, and here's the band-aid. And the reason I got these this time around is because I bought some tennis shoes to wear for my uh, power walks, and I bought a pair of Skechers and the back part on my little Achilles part, the back part of the shoe was rubbing up against it and it created a little sore spot. So I needed a band-aid to put there until it heals so that I could wear those shoes because I really like the shoes, they're super comfortable, but that part, it just rubs up against my Achilles tendon and it hurts, it's created a little sore. So this is perfect. These are perfect right now because there's only 10 and I just need that uh, spot on my foot to heal up a bit and create like a callus so the soreness will go away. Now here's a couple of books. I have more, but let me just start with these. These, I saw this haul a while ago by someone. I can't remember who because it's been a while. This is not new in the world of Dollar Tree. I've seen it, but this is the first time I've seen it in one of my stores. And it is the Book of Joy Journal. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but what it is, is a journal. A journal for 365 days of the year. So it's just blank pages for you to fill out, you know, uh, your life for one year. And it says, this book it says, uh, the Book of Joy Journal, a 365-day companion. His Holiness, the Dalai da Lama, Archbishop, I can't talk tonight, Archbishop Desmond Tutu with Douglas Abrams. I don't know why they list these guys because it's just a blank book. 
that doesn't I don't know what the significance of mentioning these guys it doesn't say anything about them so I don't know but anyways it's a nice book this would make a great gift and it also has this ribbon inside of the book to keep your plates within the book now here's a book that I also found that I thought was a really nice book and it's a National Geographic book and says in the footsteps of Jesus a chronicle of his life and the origins of Christianity second edition so this looks like an interesting read there's the back and you know I like to try and peel this off to see what the price is or was and this price was US $30 and $40 in Canada. So here it was $30 US right here. Let's see it was the same price. $30 US, $40 Canada. Anyways, if you can't see it, trust me, I'm telling you the truth. But yeah, this is a great, it's a um, soft cover book, but it's really heavy. It's really heavy, and it doesn't have a cover, but the cover folds open like that. And then inside, and it kind of protects another cover of the book here. And let's just flip through it a little bit. So it looks like a very historical book with a lot of neat stories and, you know, like Bible stories may be included in this. I think that's going to be an interesting read. <laughs> and to go along with all of the books that I've been finding, I have passed these a few times, but I finally broke down and bought some today, and these are the Magnetic Bookmarks. And they, this was the design that caught my eye. They had other designs there that were more primary colors or more neutral, earthy colors. But I chose to go with the pastel colors. You get six in here. And these are magnetic because they just fold over the page. So each one, it just it's a magnet that just claps together over the page. So because I've been, and what I'll do when I have so many different books, I may start off reading one and then go to another one. So these, these are going to be perfect for marking my spot until I get back to the book because I hate when I start a book. Normally I just kind of fold it open and that kind of messes up the binding as well. So it's good to have these to keep your books in good condition and to also keep your page in the book so when you get back to it, you can pick up where you left off. Now these I uh, hauled on my last haul. I think it was my last haul and in my last haul I hadn't tried them yet since then I've tried them and they're delicious so I just wanted to share because I told you that I would if I remembered I'd give you a review of these in fact I like them so much I got more I had to go and get more because I don't know if this is something that's um, temporary or if it's going to be regularly um, available in the store but they're really actually quite good and I was surprised that I like them so much so whenever I like something especially if it's at the Dollar Tree I stock up because you never know when you're gonna see them again now this is something it's called uh, the ultimate is that what it's called? what does it say here ultimate white charcoal powder natural whitener no harmful bleach or gel, fluoride free and made with coconut. Interesting. So this is a teak, teak whitening powder. Ultimate white. Well, that's what it's called, ultimate white. And it says directions, use a soft, damp toothbrush and dip the bristle tips into the powder. Brush for two minutes and rinse thoroughly. Use twice a day for a naturally whiter and healthier smile. So with all of these charcoal products on the market and charcoal toothpaste, charcoal toothbrushes, 
charcoal flossers. Everybody should be out here shining bright like a diamond. So if your teeth aren't as white as they could be today, then something is wrong. So I'm going to give this a try. Um, I also have tried the, the Reach, um, what is it called? It's not a, it's the one that where you pump, you pump uh, the gel up through a, a applicator and it has a little brush on the end. I've tried that, but you have to do it for a period of two weeks. So I figured this one would be a little easier because you brush your teeth every night. Now notice this one did not say you had to wait 30 minutes or any amount of time. It says just brush, dip it into the powder, brush. Oh, it says brush for two minutes, which is what you do anyways. And then it says uh, rinse thoroughly. So I like the idea of this because this is something that I think it'll be a lot easier to use on a daily basis because you brush anyways. And I was always conditioned to brush for at least four or five minutes. So using that every day should be a no-brainer, and if it promises those types of results, then you should see me with some pearly whites pretty soon. <laughs> okay, now I found some more of this decorative mesh, and isn't this neat? I, this was a different one that I found in one store that was off the beaten path, and it's like a rainbow. You see the design there but when you see the whole thing it's like a rainbow ombre of color type of mesh so I thought that was pretty cool to add to the collection of mesh that I've already uh, stocked up on now over here I found let's put these down here for me okay over here I found a pencil and brush organizer in the craft section it has 49 holes, teeth brushes, and let's see, an art tools organized ideal for artists and crafters. So this is kind of what it looks like that way. And it looks like they probably just two circles and some legs that just pop on top of each other. These would be good to use for those colored pencils I had. Um, those are art tools, colored pencils as they even have here actually. And then um, I definitely have paint brushes and paint. I have all of that stuff in my craft room. So naturally, this is going to come in handy to help me keep it all organized. In addition to that, in the craft area, I found these two, um, these two. I found this uh, mini, what do you call this thing again? What do they call it, actually? Let's see. Oh, cutting mat. So this mini cutting mat. Now I have the large ones on my craft desk over there and I actually have two sizes. I have a really large one and then I have one that's secondary to that. But this cute little small one definitely comes in handy when you're just needing to cut just a tiny little thing and you don't need your whole entire mat for that. This is a great idea. I thought that this was um, something that should have been out a long time ago but I'm glad that it's out now because you can use that for more than just crafting when you need to cut something. Now these are a couple of Bubbly's animal toys that I don't even really know why I bought this thing. I guess this is a frog. Yeah, I guess by the eyes it's some kind of little frog. And I guess the attraction with these is you squeeze it like that and all these little bubble balls Fill up. It's like filled with bubble balls. You see that? So just something kind of like a stress ball, I guess, if you at work or you're on a conference call and somebody's pissing you off. You can grab your bubbleies toy. Um, here's one in a fish, and there's green inside or blue. That's green, I think. Same thing, you squeeze it and it's got all these bubbles in it and liquid. So I thought that would be fun to have. That could be for a kid or for an adult if you, again, want to uh, use something to relieve stress in your life. Now, these are the pillowcases, the satin pillowcases that say good night, 
good morning and sweet dreams these are very cute and I put them on my bed and I will um, put a picture somewhere on the screen here so you can see what they look like on the bed so again this one says good night you see the little eyes or little eyelashes and then the uh, good morning just says good morning there's no uh, little art um, incorporated within that one but sweet dreams has the little z's for sleep so you get one per package and i thought these were really fun and they uh, look cute on the bed i picked up this storage container this storage container is great for many things but what i used it for in my pantry where I told you guys that I, I did a like a facelift on my pantry so I use this in my pantry to put my in fact where are they I'll show you what I use them for and I'm moving my uh, you know the drink mixes the Canada drives I just had up here I use this to put all my drink mixes in there some people probably use them for tea bags um, you could use it for silverware plastic utensils, hair accessories, art supplies, you know, you name it. You can use this for many things, but that's what I use it for. So when I want to make one of my drinks, I have easy access because I love how you just pull that down and lift it up. It's easy to get inside and it's nice and flat. And if you buy multiple, they just sit right on top of each other and they're see-through, allowing you to see what's inside. So I really like how my... Um, drink mixes fit in here and if I remember I will take a picture of that as well and put it somewhere in here so you can see what it looks like and it holds a lot and I have a lot so um, you, it'll, bleh, it'll give you an idea of how many uh, you can um, put in here <clears throat> and maybe you could use it for the same purpose as well. Okay, we are in the home stretch. Um, in the beauty section, I found by Elf these fan brushes. And they look really fun to use. Even though I'm not a makeup person. I don't know, they're just a neat looking brush. Let's see if I can take it out. They look really soft. I mean, you know how they just... I don't even know how to use it. I don't even look right trying to do this, but I don't know what is it used for. What do you fan on your face? Help me out. Tell me. I don't know. What does it say? A uh, unique fan shape helps blend away makeup mistakes. That's what it's the purpose of this is to blend away makeup mistakes, dusts, wipes, and contours powders. Used to create a soft wash of color over the cheeks. Apply a touch of loose powder to cover, shine, or use as a blending aid. Okay. All right. Even has directions. Used to remove fallen eye makeup by fanning away product. To add color to the face, dip into powder and dust color on cheekbones for a highlighted, soft, and natural look. So, okay. So, I guess the same thing that you would use like a blush brush for you just get a lighter amount for this just fan it on and correct mistakes and sounds like to me all these brushes do the same thing so in any case i got a fan brush by l for a dollar can't beat that pop that back in there and then in the crap well let's start here first they had some new cute little pins I haven't bought their pins in a while, but these look like little scepters, like um, a princess on a throne or something, or uh, what's his name underwater? The the water king man with the, the trident. Ah, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Is that his name, trident? Ah, uh, anyways. Whenever you get on camera and you try to remember something, it just goes right out of your head. But I know you guys know who I'm talking about. But these remind me of little scepters like that. little, And these balls, they roll. Uh, these big pearls, they're like pearls. So they do move like you could do like that. It's like a little wheel. So they're mobile. 
but I just thought they were cute. One in gold and one in silver. They have the caps on the bottom. And uh, if somebody tries to steal your pen, you can prove it's yours because not everybody's going to be walking around with this kind of pen. So you can say without a shadow of a doubt, that's my pen. They had these uh, craft items by Heidi Swap, Project Life, Becky Higgins. So let's start with Heidi. These little project cards, you get 24 of them. And they're memory planner cards for use with memory planners. Um, I wouldn't use them for that. I use them for just like a making a gift card scrapbook type thing to uh, coincide with the theme that you may be using them for. So I'm just looking at the different designs on the back that's included in here. So that's what all the card consists of. And then they also had, and there was a total of 24 cards in this one. 24 cards. So there's some large, there's some small. And then the next one, these are the ones by Becky Higgins, Project Life. Life. And then there's 30 themed cards in this one. And this is what they look like. These are the different themes included. And this is what they look like. Oh, I want to flip that. So these are, this is a bigger size right here. And then you have the smaller ones. And they all look like they're double sided as well. So that's one design. And then there was another one that says just a little note, gold embellishment. Flip this one up, it has larger cards. And then these. And then the last one also has 30. Be bright, be happy, be you. Small one, the larger one. And then this one, have a great day. And this also has another one on the bottom. And the back of this one shows you all the cards that are included in this one. Again, they each have 30 inside of them. Now, I also uh, found in the back to school section uh, this pencil holder. And it has a big suction cup on the back. I got this to put in my kitchen to hold the dish brush that I use to wash the dishes with. So I didn't want anything. I didn't want to get this for something that was too heavy because the suction even though it's big, I don't know how good it will work or how strong it is, but I think this would be perfect right on my um, backsplash, is that what you call it? Like uh, the tile above the sink to hold the brush so I can get it out of the way uh, in the sink because I need space. I need that space in the sink. So if I can use this to get that out of the way, then it's gonna be a great thing for me. Now, this is another purchase that I repurchased because I liked them so much. You remember I bought the bum socks and I tried on a pair that day. Just the quality of these socks I can't stress enough. I'm not going to go into it all over again but I just had to go back and get some more and this was the one that I thought was red on screen but it ended up being pink and I actually ended up liking it more. So I went and bought that one in the uh, low, low cut. And then this one is the um, quarter cut, I believe. Yeah, this is the quarter. So I got those. And then I went ahead and bought uh, a pair of the kids. So they had the pink and black. And they only had this one size in kids. The, is it the quarter? Yeah, they only had the quarters that I found anyway in kids. So they had the pink and black. They had the pink and white. So they were girls. I think they had one size smaller than this as well, if I remember correctly. And then they had the pink and gray. So for the little girls, three choices. They were all pink and something. So pink and white, pink and black, and pink and gray. And then for the little boys, three options. 
they had blue and white. And then they had black and blue. And the last one was green and white. So these were the three selections for little boys. got those to show you guys. I'm sure I'll come across a kid somewhere down the road who can use these. Donate them at Christmas time. This will be a great gift to give for a child instead of a toy because it's definitely something they can use. But we are in the home stretch. I bought some Fix All Adhesive. I tried this glue. I, I watch a lot of crafters who use this glue and they would always compare it to the E6000. And when I ran out of my E6000, I thought that I would take them up and see if, in fact, I agreed, and I do. So I went, and this is a much cheaper option to buy and to use than E6000. So far, so good. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, they have this, uh, what do they call this? It's like a razor blade, but let's see what they actually call it. A safety scraper with blades. So you get five blades to refill in this, and this is always good to have um, handy. You never know what type of project it's going to come in handy for, but it's a lot of versatile uses. And I like that you get the five replacement blades. Um, oh, I have some chopped walnuts in here. I didn't know I found walnuts. Okay, so I found some walnuts. I know I was looking for them before, and they didn't have any, so... Yeah, I found walnuts. I forgot about that. Um, and then sandpaper. I found some sandpaper for a craft project. I was trying to do something that required sandpaper. And I looked in all my supplies and I couldn't find any. So this is definitely something you want to have on hand. You just never know when you're going to need it. So I went ahead and picked these up while they were there. It's a packet of 24 waterproof abrasive paper. So four and a half by five and a half, pretty good size. So when I get crafty, crafty, I have uh, what I need to get the job done. Now these are summertime baskets. You get four in a pack. This is a good deal and a good value because what I want to use these for is not for deli baskets as they state here or for barbecues or french fries or sub sandwiches. I want to use these to um, uh, make little gift baskets and you know you buy some supplies put it in here and make a cute little gift to give away to someone but this is perfect because you get four and they're a pretty good size so you can get quite a few things in here or you could bake some cookies during the holidays make some candies and fit them all in this little container and you get uh, four four dollars so that's a great deal think outside the box um, they're normally available this time because of the holidays. I don't know if you would be able to find these during Christmas. You might because Dollar Tree puts stuff out at weird times, but it's definitely seasonal for barbecue season. So think ahead, you guys. If you're going to be making little baskets to give stuff away in, buy some of these now while they're out. And you can also spray paint these gold or silver or white or whatever color you would prefer. That they came in. We are on the last leg of this haul and what remains are books. So I'm giving you a heads up in case you're not interested in books but there's some really great books here. Um, so I'm going to run through these really quickly. The first one is called Ice Box Cakes Recipes for the Coolest Cakes in Town. Uh, run through real quick. You got all these different pictures of different cakes and uh, let's see if I can quickly find the price. Uh, $18.95 in the U.S., so that's pretty cool. The next one is called Magpie, and this is Sweets and Savories from Philadelphia's Favorite Pie Boutique, Magpie. And this is a hard, uh, hardcover book. And I'm trying to just move, oops, darn it. Well, you know, I'm not going to worry about it, but I, I really feel like this book costs a lot of money. I like to give you the price so you can see the value of these things. Um, but yeah, this is a nice, very nice presentation. 
um, nice pictures. This would make a great gift. All of these gifts would make. I was trying to move this tag really quickly and it started coming apart. So let me just give it the old one, two, go a little slower and see if I can get this price for you. Because I'm curious myself as to what this book cost. And it says, printed in the United States. This book sold for, well, it's not even on here. Hmm. Oh, duh, I didn't even need to do that. It's right here on the back. It sold for $27.50 in the USA, $34.50 in Canada. It's right here. I didn't even need to do that. So, yeah, great book. I can see why. These will be uh, wonderful to just keep in your kitchen. Um, it's, it's almost like a designer book, just the... The presentation of it. Now this book it's called The Dessert Bible by Christopher Kimball. This is another guy I watch on PBS, uh, America's Test Kitchen. He now has a new uh, cooking show called Milk Street where he does more international um, type dishes where he travels to different countries and recreates those dishes that he finds in those countries. But this book, it's called The Dessert Bible because it's not so much a cookbook, but it gives you a lot of different techniques and information on how to do things. Uh, talks about different types of ingredients. It's just like a book of knowledge. But what does it say? It says featuring more than 300 essential recipes, of course, when I say that, it's reviews of kitchen equipment and 100 step-by-step -step illustrations. So it's kind of like the show. It's recipes. Um, it's uh, kitchen equipment reviews and then step-by-step -step illustrations on how to do certain things and that's kind of the flow of the TV program um, this book see if the price is readily available for this one uh, let's see here it's a soft cover book which I'm surprised it's not a hard cover for America's Best Kitchen because they've been around for quite some time and I would think that they would have a sturdier, uh, more expensive book here. All right, I can't find the price on the inside for this one, so let's see if it's here on the back. I'm going to just go a little slower so I don't want to ruin it. Okay, I think it's right here. $20 US, and then in Canada... $22. So yeah, $20 US, $22 Canada. All right. Ah, all right. The next book, nice heavy hardback. It has a cover on it. And the cover comes off. It's still the same cover of the book. Here's the paper one. Here's the actual hard copy. So it protects the hard copy cover very nice book um, eat more of what you love I'm trying to see if I can flip through some of these pages for you this book is kind of heavy so let's see <laughs> that's not working is it I don't know why it's so awkward but here's the back of the book and it says eat more of what you love my eyes are drying out because of the fan um, over 200 brand new recipes, low in sugar, low in fat, low in sugar and calories. So low in sugar, fat, and calories. So that's probably why I got this book, because it's low in sugar, fat, and calories. Eat more of what you love. I love ice cream, so you can show me a recipe that's low in sugar, fat, and calories, then you got me. You got me. And I know this book was not cheap. I can just tell by the weight of it. This thing is heavy. So here we go. The price in this one is $27 in the USA and $31.50 in Canada. 
very nice book. This book is seriously heavy. I mean, it has some good weight to it, so I'm glad that I found that one. Now, this one is called The Chubby Vegetarian, and here's a picture on the back. It doesn't look so chubby. Um, so if you ever thought about going vegan, this probably has some good vegan recipes, great pictures. Yeah, I like a book like this that has a picture with every recipe so you can see what it's supposed to look like and also see if you even want to make it. So yeah, so that says 100 inspired vegetable recipes for the modern table. And I've often considered uh, a vegetarian plant-based um, diet, but not really knowing how to make them, like what plants to use, what vegetables to use. So I got this book because if it can help me at least incorporate healthier uh, dishes using plant-based items, then I'm all for it. This book, it's a soft cover book. It's very pliable, but it also has weight to it as well. Now this book sold for, let's see, I think this one's gonna be on the back, with this label. Let's see if I can, no, this label is not cooperating, darn it. So it doesn't look like it's possible. I can't find this one, so we're not gonna hold up things too much, but, Oh, I hate having to skip it though. Aren't you curious? Don't you want to know? I do. I do. Let's see. I think it's right here. Is it? Nope. No way. All right. We're not going to get this one then. Let's see. I'm still trying. I just don't want to take the L. Gonna give it the old one too. See if I can get this off. Can I get it then? Yeah, this one's being difficult. All right, sorry. Okay, this one is Roman's How to Roast. How to Roast. This is another hardcover. Um, foolproof techniques and recipes for the home cook. So. So how to roast, there's a leg of lamb, what else we got here, it looks like just a bunch of different meats, how to roast these meats in different ways, some great pictures, very colorful, very detailed, uh, very uh, appetizing looking, uh, different pictures on roasting, probably vegetables as well as meats. Um, Come on, I should have pulled these stickers off ahead of time. I didn't think it would be this hard. However, this one came off pretty easily. So this one was $25 in the US and $28 in Canada. Wait, I had it. It says my arm is not steady. But anyways, so that's this one. And I like the color of this one too. It's very neutral, um, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Neutral, I guess. I guess that's the word. Um, this book is called Pickles and Ice Cream. And I believe it's for pregnant women. A Bizarre Pregnancy Cravings Cookbook. <laughs> It says, try at your own risk. So pickles and ice cream, another hardcover book. And I guess it has a bunch of weird uh, combinations of food that you wouldn't think would go together. I don't know if there's any truth to these whole weird pregnancy craving things, but the price here is 17 in the USA and $22 in Canada. But what a pretty book. If you know someone who's pregnant and they're miserable, this might bring them joy, if nothing else, just to thumb through it and get some ideas on some weird foods to crave. 
chicken chicken nuggets with whipped cream. What else do they have here that's odd? Uh, tuna mayo with melon. Very nice pictures, too. This is a, actually a nice book. Cherry spaghetti. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, pickled pig's foot with cornflakes and milk. What? Pickled pig's foot with cornflakes and milk? Uh, bean and cream dream. That doesn't sound too, too odd unless the cream is sweet. But you get the idea. A lot of weird combinations that I guess you would only like when you're pregnant. But what a cute idea. Pickles and ice cream. Even the picture of the pickles and the ice cream. That looks disgusting. I like ice cream and I like pickles, but I don't know if I would like them together. And the very last book in this haul will officially be over is The Girlfriend's Diet. And this says burn more calories on a delicious four-week Mediterranean meal plan. And it also says lose weight together and keep it off forever. So that's why they have two sets of feet. Two sets of feet on here so you can uh, do this with your girlfriend. So I bought two of these. So if you have a friend that you want to uh, go on a diet with, then you could keep a book and get one for them. And also because it was pink. You know I love the whole look of this because it's pink and you know you know how I am with pink. It catches my eye right away. So and it looks like an easy read. It doesn't it's not complicated. It's not one of those that makes you feel like you're studying something in school. It's a very easily written um, book. Exercise the other half of weight loss so yeah so those are all my books that's everything that I found and as I sit here you guys I am disturbed because I feel like I bought some things and I left it at the store because that mask that I was telling you about earlier the in shower I know I bought that and I, I don't have any memory of um, putting it up or seeing it here I'm disturbed and I remember that I bought one of these but I thought I talked myself into maybe I put it back but now it's making me feel like this one that I bought before that I talked myself into thinking that I put back I actually did buy it but it must be a bag that I left somewhere and I'm very disturbed because I don't know what else was in there but that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give this video a like. Leave a comment and share with me what you thought was great, what you thought was a good deal, and what your favorite item was. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, you guys. I'm back real quickly. I wasn't crazy. I know that I bought this mask and I found it. I had a bag in the car that I forgot all about or either I didn't see it when I was getting out of the car. But it bugged me all night. This is the next day. It bugged me all night. And um, I figured it out while I was sleeping because I thought for sure, I kept saying, I know I bought one of these before. So when I was buying another one, I kept saying, I know I bought one before, but it didn't register with this, even though it bothered me because I couldn't, I kind of let it go at this and I told myself, well, maybe you put it back. But then when it came to these masks, I'm like, I know I bought those masks. And I'm like, okay, something is up. And that's what made me revisit it. So anyways, this is the Freeman Beauty Infusion Purifying In Shower Mask. And is made with sea kelp probiotics, instantly boosts clarity, restores balance, and relieves skin. So I got this, and along with this, I found the Freeman Beauty Infusion Mask Primer Micellular Water. And uh, prepare skin for masking. Oh, I didn't realize that's what it was for. So this prepares your skin to apply for putting on a mask. And what else did it say? instantly cleanses and restores balance oh that's good to know 
serum infused dermatologist tested. So these are the full size um, products that everyone was uh, excited about, myself included. And so I found this one and the other one with the honey in it. And I know there is a clarifying clay, uh, not clarifying, there's a clay mask. I'm not sure if it's charcoal clarifying or what it is, but that's the only other one that I'm looking for. So hopefully I can find that one. And last but not least, what I also had in the bag was these little homeless hats. I just came back from walking Lacey, so I decided to go ahead and put one on. I don't know if you saw these in the store, but they're just these little hats, and they came in, I think, five designs. It also came in in this pink. They're very light and not very uh, expensive or heavy hats, so perfect for walking your dog in the summer. They also had this a palm tree with the sun kind of like a vacation design and then the last one that I got anyways was this maybe it was only these four I thought I left one there um, originally I only got this one and the pink one but then I said well I like the blue one. let me go ahead and get the blue one and then I said well I may as well just get all four but I thought there might have been one more, but it could have been only these four now that I think about it. But they're cool for walking, and when the sun comes out, you can take the brim and put it down like that. And then when you're done with the sun, you just pop it back up. So that is all that I have for this haul. I'm so glad that I found these items because it was driving me crazy and I'm like, I know I bought these things. So you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to make sure that you catch every video that I put out moving forward. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.